Hello and welcome to this review of 10 High Sour Mash Blended Bourbon from uh, it says Barton Distilling that's really uh, Sazerac now Sazerac bought Barton years ago um, it's got three bottling locations uh, Owensboro, Kentucky, Bardstown, Kentucky and Los Angeles, California Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey so it is distilled in Kentucky Age 36 months. That's about $9.99 a bottle. Never had it before. Um, there are a number of video reviews which I intend to watch. And I intend to put this up in taste challenges with other bourbon whiskeys. So we'll see how it holds up. My expectation isn't very high. Um, Bought this at Matherns. Uh, they sell it at most of your liquor store. Uh, well, grocery stores around here. We don't have liquor stores, but find it in the 750 milliliter glass bottles and the 1.75 milliliter plastic handle bottles. Okay, very bright sun out here between 8:30 and 9 a.m. Put in this Jimmy Bell Bedford uh, Jack Daniel's Master Distiller glass. <laughs> Okay, it's um, amber appearance. Uh, there's no coloring or flavorings added. Can't have that if it's a bourbon blended or straight. And with that extreme sunlight coming through, I did notice one thing about it. It's hazy. Now, that could be the case for any bourbon. I'll get some other ones and check it out in a little bit. But uh, there's a lot of suspended sediment throughout and a haze in it. It's not super clear. Okay. At one time, this was a straight bourbon whiskey. Now it's blended. Now, there may be other variants of this because a lot of these companies, like Sazerac, for instance, have brands that they do not list on their website for whatever reason, like the Ancient Age Preferred. They have Ancient Age and the Ancient Age 10 star, but not the Ancient Age preferred. So it's a bit, bit peculiar. All right, let's check it out. Um, uh, there's some slight charred oak, probably white oak. Um, I don't think you're gonna get anything too bold or pronounced with this, be similar to Kentucky Gentleman. Or, um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, Kentucky Gentleman, a blended bourbon. Sweetness, alcohol, a little caramel, a little dried flowers, maybe dried fruit. Doesn't smell bad. It smells okay, you know, $9.99 a bottle. I think the Kentucky Kentucky Tavern is a much better value because you're paying a dollar more, ten ninety nine, you get in a liter bottle, and that's straight straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Oh well, anyway, I bought it. I had some extra gift money at the time, and I bought it. So let's check it out. Definitely charred oak. That's sort of like a Barton distilling trademark, the heavy charred and more charred than the oak, more charcoal than the oak. I've been noticing that even with the Barton, very old Barton straight, four year aged. It seems like the body is a little heavier than normal though. It's 49% grain neutral spirits of so that grain whiskey. And um, that might give it an unusually heavy body, I don't know. It's a little linger, kind of a long finish, really. It's interesting. It's not like exactly like Kentucky Gentleman. It has, seems like it has a little more character. That one seemed a little thin in the flavor and aroma. Canadian Mist, the Canadian blended whiskey we thought was, um, and that uses used uh, Jack Daniels barrels. We thought that was um, very dull. 
hope everybody's okay over there. Um, well, it's better than I thought. I thought it was just going to be flat, you know, neutral, nothing in the flavor. But it has a little bit going for it. I think it's probably in line. You might find this comparable to, to Old Crow, which is three-year aged, ancient age, three-year aged. I can't say for sure. I'd have to do a blind taste test, you know. But um, it seems to be holding up on it on its own merits. And the Barton, the Barton, very old Barton, four-year aged, that held up on its own merits. But when I put it in competition, it couldn't handle it. It got beat out after three or four. Uh, trials so this one I just do not know um, obviously it's probably sold as a mixer but I mean that might be 90% of all bourbons whether they're straight blended old young cheap mid-range expensive people are I mean the expensive ones they might be sipping them but I don't know I think mix Highballs is a big thing, you know, mixed drink highballs. Cocktails is a big thing with all this. I like to drink them straight to, just to check them out. Yeah, it's, it's strong wood. Um, that's, the, that's the calling card for this one. Lots of wood, char, the dried flowers, the dried fruit, the caramel takes a back seat to that. So if you like a very woody, char oriented charred wood oriented item this could work ah is it fantastic and wonderful no is it bad horrible tastes like, like i read these reviews i like to read the reviews airplane glue it tastes like licking a stamp um there's nothing like that in it no nah, it just tastes like whiskey <laughs> Would I rather get this or the early times for $8.99 a bottle? $9.99 for this, $8.99 for that. Well, those prices tend to vary. You know, they'll they'll kind of cross over each other with different sales and whatnot. But I don't know. I, I think I might prefer the little stronger charred wood that this has uh, compared to the early times. And that's not a bourbon because they, they use used barrels. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do taste challenges. So, but I'm pleased I bought it. I was looking forward to trying it. And some people had made comments about, oh, yeah, yeah, 10 high. That's something to get. Nothing to chase after. But if you see it, eh. especially if you get like a small bottle, small plastic sample bottle, that'd be even better. Just just try it. But even if you buy this full-size bottle, up, I don't think you're going wrong with it. Yeah, I think us Azrak has a really nice lineup. And they got a lot of stuff in their lineup, so it'll take a long time to review them all. But yeah, this is a winner. Comment down here. I don't know about your state. So thank you for watching this video production. And once again, I, I recommend it within uh, certain contexts.